Welcome to our first episode of WEPL Radio, sponsored by our friends at Team IBB. My name is Lori Kazat, and I am the Communications and Development Manager at the Willoughby Eastlake Public Library. Our guests today are James Schleicher, founder of Team IBB and published author, and Gary Kaladukin, Vice President of Team IBB. Welcome to both of you. Hey! hey. What's going on, people? people? <laughs> First of all, I'd really like to thank you both for your continued support of the library, from sponsoring events, to sponsoring our podcast, to the amazing marketing that you do for us by sharing our events through social media. Um, you really do a lot for us, and, and we really appreciate it. Well, it's, it's, it's a mutual thing. You guys take care. You guys take care of us a lot, too, so that... Um it, uh, it is the least we can do for everything you've done for us and the libraries have done for us, so. Well, thank, thank you. you. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about who T Team IBB is right. um, and about your experience writing a book and having it published. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my first question is, tell me a little bit about who T Team IBB is and you know who you are, what do you do? It's a very good question. We're like we're like the win. Excellent. We're question. like the win. Um, so <laughs> Team IBB basically, you know, IBB started as it was just me, and I randomly met a guy in a plane. So you need a brand. You need a brand. You need to tell your story of why what you do for a living or why why you know why you help people and why it's so important. And I'm like I don't know what you're talking about. You know, can I buy you a dinner? So I bought him dinner, and uh, he helped me dive into. What you know? What drives me? What what is? Why am I so passionate about what we do in the community and, and with helping working with people? And it's our family got taken advantage of. So that's where he's like, hmm. He's like IBB. And I'm like, what's IBB? He's like, I've been burned. He's like, that one's free. The next one will cost you. And this guy does branding for like LeBron and Nike okay. and all that stuff. So just kind of completely random, but uh, it was life changing. You know, that's where some of we, uh, you know, we talk a lot about, you know, redefine your life. That's kind of, you'll see that in 2018 is where, redefine a life is, redefine your life basically going to be our battle cry mission statement or whatever you want to call it for um, helping people optimize their life um, through, you know, whether it's work, whether it's family, whether it's, you know, just, whatever you want just, to trying, just trying to get a little bit better because IB, I say, IB with me and then Team IBB came about. When Gary came uh, came back, I stole him back, um, and it's really yeah, and, and it just kind of if you had told me that hey, Team IB would now be five people on our team now, and then also to um, you know we have IBB Caitlin, shout out to IBB Caitlin, IBB Caitlin's here, say hi Caitlin, <laughs> hi, and uh, but she um, you know she's our community coordinator, so that the community thing, so again thank you, um, mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll kind of give you and Kathy Williams a shout out later as. Uh, I got some things I want to say, but um, <laughs> I'm getting distracted already. <laughs> um, but, uh, the you know the team IBB was really just it was some friends of ours that were pursuing some athletic um, uh, you know things that they were still working to our uh, the CP vigilante Zach Fennell. Uh, mm -hmm. I just did a marathon uh, last month that was really cool. So he's one of our you know team IBB athletes. Um, EC3 follow at the real EC3 is. Uh, uh, also another friend of ours, but there's kind of like there's there's people that IBB fishing team Jeff that, Johnson Zach Jeff Young. Johnson Zach Young, um, actually they're winning like fishing tournament. It like just started crazy. as a joke. It's like hey, <laughs> Team IBB, like that could also be like sponsored athletes. That'd be yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. And like and uh, Zach is, I mean, he's been so influential uh, for for us. He's the first one to tell me what a hashtag was. Like you need a hashtag IBB. I'm like, what is this pound <laughs> sign? And why is it a hashtag now? So like. Um, what, what does, does it mean? What does it all mean? What does it mean? Uh, what's in the box? <laughs> uh, so, but no, that that was a, a big thing. That team IBB has become more of a, and, and I think you talked, you helped us kind of give us feedback of what people were saying and how yeah. you saw it as like it's not a company, mm -hmm. it's not even a brand, it's a, it's movement. a movement. It's a movement. movement, and I feel like um, we always talk about actions always the best medicine. So like literally movement, like taking action. And then, so, you know, action and reaction. So how we react to anything, how, you know, everything turns out in the end. So, right. Um, yeah, and, like, and what, what started out to be just, like, a personal mantra, you know, IBB, yeah. I've 
been burned. And then you were out there telling your story to literally anybody that would listen and anyone that was asking about <laughs> it, right? Anybody that would but suffer what, through. <laughs> what what came <laughs> Yeah, suffered through listening to James Schlanger. <laughs> but um, what was really interesting is the more that we shared about this personal mantra and you know what my family actually went through, what your family actually went through, mm -hmm. people were opening up saying, hey, that happened to me too. Yeah, also, hey, yeah. that's happened to someone yeah. I know, someone I care about. And then so people were jumping, I guess, on board or ship or whatever, but they were, they were able to relate to this idea, yeah. right? That we kind of put out there and you know, we proudly wear it on all of our clothes and other people are proud to say mm -hmm. that they've been burnt too. But now, since they've been burned, they've been able to take steps, take actions, be a part of this movement. Okay. It's been really cool. Okay. Really cool. That's great. Well, you're both really involved in the community. Um, in addition to sponsorships, I mean, you guys actually show up to the events and help and volunteer. You know, not just here at the library, but, you know, I saw you at Relay for Life, Lake County's Relay for Life. Um, you know, and some other events. So why do you feel that it's so important for you both prof professionally and personally to give back to the community? Well, we both made a commitment to Lake County and, you know, a lot of folks out there will, you know, yeah, I want to I want to help change Lake County. I want to I'm committed to making it a better place. But the only way that we can actually commit to it is if we actually do stuff. So the only way, I know, it's, cra it's a crazy idea, right? <laughs> it's a community involvement. It's so stuff. it's not just saying you're going to do it, actually showing up and being there. And it's not just yeah. always, a, you know, if you can help out philanthropically, that's great. But volunteering is just as powerful. So that's something that we really pride ourselves on, like just trying to give back in any way, shape, or form that, you know, we're able to. Okay. To, to me, volu the volunteering part that's the most fun part because you're actually, you know, it's, it's one thing that, like, obviously the money helps. You know what I'm saying? It, like, and, and we did not have, you know, we had, I had $18 when we started 10 years ago. So, like, it's not like, like we couldn't sponsor anything even if we wanted to financially. Right. But I, I feel like that was something where I truly missed the boat. You know, like, well, I can't afford to give back. And, I, and, and that's the, the completely wrong mindset. And I learned that it's, it's not about the money. The money mm -hmm. will come. Yep. It's about the actual mm -hmm. showing, like you said, show up. You know, yeah. showing up is the magical thing in life. Is you got to show up, and um, you know, volunteering doesn't cost you anything. But for the library, for the, all the different nonprofits or you know, community events, like getting volunteers is like pulling. Like I'm saying, like yeah. getting volunteers that are actually helpful <laughs> is like right. Right. you know, say. But no, I, I, it, but it, it hits the refresh button on life because whether it's business, whether it's family, whether it's you know career, like you know just just try you know like even to like you go on vacation and you're like oh I'm gonna get away and you come back and it's like ah you know I'm so behind so just kind of there's so many things that I feel and I, and myself included I'm the I'm the guiltiest of all you know I always think some new Batman you know collectible is gonna make me happier and forever and it doesn't but. You know, just like the, um, the are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, well, you know, it's like it's never enough. Whether it's money, whether it's it's things, if it's you know whatever, it just it's never enough. Right. But when you're out volunteering and you're actually seeing mm -hmm. progress and you're actually seeing people, mm -hmm. their lives are changing right in front of you. And I'll kind of segue to Gary, like his first experience, with you know, leaders. yeah, with yeah. Uh, you know, we were given. You know, I'm not just, uh, I need to just shut up and let him talk, but, <laughs> but, but that's the thing is get out and volunteer and yeah. give back to your community because the oxygen you breathe mm -hmm. becomes so important because you feel different. And right. I, like for me, I, I was like, okay, we got career success, we got business success, like, but I feel hollow. I feel, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like it's, I feel like I'm still questioning whether anybody would notice if I was gone. And I, you know, if, if having those bond, you know, having those community ties and and involvement showing up to them it truly helps you realize that yeah your existence mm -hmm. on planet earth is super important Absolutely. and it is affecting people in a positive way um so that's where i mean you yeah. know and it costs you your time but there's so much nonsense that we 
do with their time. Well, it, so. it grounds you. I mean, oh, it kind yeah, of brings you. Yeah. It kind of brings you back and, and wakes you up. It really does yeah. because you know you could be having the worst day ever, but somebody else is having a way worse way day worse than you than, are. Yes. And that's what I find, at least when I go out yeah. and volunteer, you know, oh, for yeah. places like that, is I leave and I'm like, you know, my day wasn't that bad. Mm -hmm. right? It just right. wasn't. <laughs> right. And my like, prop was not really bad. Yeah, I'm going right. to share my, my young leader story that I try to share with everybody is the very first volunteer event that I ever attended. I, I think it was maybe three, maybe even four years ago now. It was at Harvey High School, N68 Hours of Hunger, a mm -hmm. great program, yep. wonderful. Two ladies run that whole entire thing. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, I remember I was working, I think, six days that week at the time at a previous employer. And I worked like 60 hours going on just getting drop kicked in the face from management <laughs> up above. And, you know, and the time, so yeah, mean, man, yeah, yeah, management's <laughs> awesome. But like, I, was, no just, you I was getting it from the top down and from the bottom up because, you know, everyone was just in a bad place. And I called James and I said, James, I am, I am not going to this volunteer event. I am having the worst day. I've been working. <laughs> Everything stinks, and I just want to go home and crawl in a ball, curl up in a ball, and just go home and forget about everything and start over tomorrow anew. And he's like, "All right, man. Well, you know, I hear you, but just go." <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks to the main advice, man. Even so, my own friend. I know. Even my friend. He just understand. He was a nice enough to at least listen. <laughs> but uh, so he just says, "Just go to this event. I, I promise it'll be worth it." So we allotted two hours to go help out at Harvey High School. I'm there, it's like a uh, fall day, so it's a little cold in the air. Nicole Parker, Sanjay were there with their kids, and I got to meet the entire family for the first time. And I was there for 45 minutes. That was it, not even two hours, 45 minutes. And all I did was pull, pull, uh, put, uh, put, grocery bags of produce inside of people's trunks of their cars. That's all I did okay. for 45 minutes, like kale, tomatoes, you know, whatever, lettuce, whatever. And I just put it into their trunks of their car and the amount of gratitude that we just got, mm -hmm. just thank yous. Like I've never received a thank you like that ever before. So it's just the yeah. look on their faces, the, the, the genuineness in their hearts, it was just thank you. I can I can eat today. Yes. Like tonight, yes. this weekend. Yeah. Like it's unbelievable. Yeah. And then all the magical problems that I, you know, all the problems I had magically mm -hmm. disappear. Yeah. You know, hey, the sixty hours of crap I was going through is those are not real. So like when right. we say wake up call, like that is huge. Yes. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. My yes. life isn't that bad. Right. You know. And you go home and you think I have a refrigerator full of food. Yeah. I have a house that's warm. Right. You know, it, it's you have um you know your gas is turned on, your electricity's turned on, and we talked about that at the United Way um, real quick one minute video that we yes. did that you've seen the impact about how many different food pantries there are in Lake County. Yes, and over many, fifty. Over fifty, and then how many people. Uh, utilize those food pantries and then what percentage like 20 percent 20 percent of I think children right? yes I think that it was 28,000 people in That's Lake good. County use the food pantries here and 20 percent of those are kids yeah and then so like a, a, a father or mother parents would have to decide do I pay my heating bill mm -hmm. or do I feed my family like that is unreal right. Yeah. Right. unreal Yep. So it is important that we, all the things that we're doing to give back because they do make a difference. We just have to know that our efforts do make a difference. It, you know, why did we get started? And then let's go out there and let's finish it. Right, yeah. right. Now, Lori, I have a question for you. Okay. So like, we, we both kind of have our moments um, that we talked about. What What's kind of like a defining moment for you? Like what, because you're, you're on the Humane Society board with me. Mm -hmm. Lake Humane Society, shout out. Um, <laughs> you're on the governance committee, which is basically, you. it's like a whole full-time job in itself. <laughs> uh, you also, you know, you're, you're, you're involved, I mean, you're involved, you make us feel like we don't, we don't do anything. So, um, <laughs> yeah. so like, you do I, much like, more than there, I do. <laughs> there is, you know, obviously there's something that drives you. And there, yes. You know, like, so I'd be interested, like, what was kind of that, that moment for you that said, hey, this is what it's all about? So, I mean, this is going 
way back and okay. way way back. way way, way back. back i you've mean been, this you've is, been a good person longer than this us, is so i mean good. this is going back to when i was in elementary school and i was a girl scout and we would do service projects okay and we would go to um you know we'd go to nursing homes we'd you know make crafts and things you know for people we would go to different events and i think that's exactly when it sort of hit me of you know, you get. I got so much more out of it by being a volunteer than anything else. I think it all goes back back to that, really, to my childhood and just giving back. And I always liked helping people. And like you said, Gary, it's that gratitude, you know, that you receive that makes it worth it. And I don't even feel like I do anything. Yeah. You know, right. and you're like, well, why are you thanking me? You know, like you, all I did was put a bag of groceries in your car. And that's life changing. Right. Yeah. And for some people it is. Yeah. And, and I think that's for me, like we had talked about, that's a huge part of it is I, it grounds me. Like it, it kind of brings me back to center when I, when I do those types of things, when like I have this chaotic life and I'm in meetings all day and I have meetings after work and mm -hmm. my weekends are booked up with stuff, you know, that when you go and do these things, like you're like, wow, my life is pretty awesome. Yeah. You know, like even in the midst of chaos, yeah. it reminds yeah. you how great your life is. Yeah. yeah. And it, it makes it like where, this is where I spend my time. You know, this is, I decided to spend my time on doing something that's better mm -hmm. for everybody. So right. giving beyond ourselves, you know, right. is, is a huge thing. Mm -hmm. so that, and that's one thing that we've been saying a lot of too, is like, what's your give to get? So like, your give right now is the pot, you know, like, what's, what's your gift? Like for us, like, doing the IBB videos, like the IBB TV, um, you know, the hashtag IB top three, the hashtag IB community, hashtag IB fortune. It's all it just, I mean, it started with us opening up a fortune cookie and trying to like right. teach a, you know, give a life lesson about it when right. it came out. But like, um, but the life lessons are in the life, the the life lessons. <laughs> in it, right? yeah, so, but, uh, so for us, like, again, it was something where it was just kind of like, we're doing it. We're doing it. Did, we're going to look like idiots. It's okay. We're mm -hmm. just going to, we're, we're just going to, we're going to fumble through it and, yeah. and, at the end of the day, we're we're buddies, and it, we'll we'll laugh about it later, kind of thing. So, but for us, like him being a former professional wrestler, and me being I was a lead singer in a punk rock band. Wait, you're so. you're a professional wrestler? You didn't know that. No. <laughs> Stop. How many years yeah. have I known you now? I, I had yeah. no idea. All right. Wow. All right. Okay. I'll just show you a quick picture. Yeah. It's no big deal. You can listen to the picture. It's, it'll be right. Great. We'll yeah. have to edit Sorry, this yeah. out. So. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I used to moonlight on the weekends as a pirate. Oh. Now he was a wrestler. He's yeah. a pirate. Yeah, as a pirate yeah. wrestler. This is the best thing I've seen all day. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> Maybe all year. That's pretty cool. Like, That's pretty fantastic. <laughs> you were in the late communicators meeting, so I'm like up here doing this backflip off the top oh of this thing. Oh my gosh. I, I used, I used mean, to come to our shows. I used to go to the shows, and Gary, I was like, Gary is insane. Like, he, like, I, <laughs> But I'm afraid of heights, and he's like jumping off these like ladders. These la oh, it's stuff. crazy! It's crazy. It's awesome. But, um, but yeah, no. So that's where like wow. so for us to get up, even right now, just kind of like to roll with whatever happens. Yeah. And especially if, to jump in front of the video, it's that's way easier because we're both we we did we started with our blogs, and that kind of that I'll, I'll kind of get into like publishing the book, mm -hmm. starting with the blogs, a great way to just to, to do that. You know, get the okay. ball rolling. Um, but for us, like to sit down and write something, we can do it, but it's like painstaking. You know right. what I'm saying? Like from the standpoint of it's just does it's not as easy for us because we'd rather just turn on the camera, jump in, and say, "What's good? Blah, 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 blah. Where I be? Blah blah." And um, that's literally what we say. Um, but, but you know, for us, it's just like that's that's our give. That's simple for us. And like again, being involved in the community, I feel like to me that has been my ultimate goal and ultimate challenge is I do not want to get anything back that is not a direct result of what we gave and you know like obviously like the, to me like that's the thing is like that for our for our business to survive it better it, it has to be a direct reflection of everything we're doing the, the mm -hmm. community's growth should dictate and determine our growth if that right. makes sense so, it does but like that's where you know are you a writer are you, uh, are you? What's your strength? You know, are you a written word, yeah. audio, or video? And like right now, like this, this is audio. what you're doing. This is this is awesome. Like this yeah. this is great. Um, and uh, so this is what's cool is like 
you're giving right now, the library is going to get something back somehow, some way. Mm -hmm. And anything you need, we can hopefully help do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank but, you. But yeah, like this is cool. Like it, that hopefully this is you know anyone mm -hmm. listening. This is actually helpful in our rants about nothing. <laughs> well, James, you're a published author. Yeah. You wrote a book called It All Starts With a Plan, Burn Proof Success Through the Fires of Failure. Yeah. So what made failure, you... Yeah. A lot of failure. <laughs> what made you... What made you decide to write a book? That, well... Everyone says they want to write a book, but... Correct. They never correct. actually do it. Correct. So what made you actually yeah, um, take that big step and well, do it? So... In college, my double major was English and communications, okay. and my double minor was psychology and writing. Okay. So I did a lot of writing, you know, 20 page, 30 page essays. So like, I always thought it'd be cool. I mean, like, it's cool to say, I wrote a book, you know what I'm saying? Like, I still feel weird saying, like, yeah, I'm an author or whatever, but um, I just, there's so much that I did wrong, and there's so much that I was taught to do wrong. There was a lot of things I, I did because I'm an idiot. There's a lot of things because I wasn't following the right advice. I had, you know, didn't have the right mentorship happening. You know what I'm saying? But you don't know until, I, until it's too late. You know, that's kind of what right. works. But so that's where, um, you know, the book is, you know, I, I, is the thing I really focus on is the, the three C's of clients, community, continued education. And that really kind of, and gets, getting into having a plan, having a life plan, having, having a career plan or a business plan or family plan that revolves around what you want out of life itself. Okay. You know, you're, you're, you, we got one shot at this existence, and ha what do we want out of it? And it, there's no wrong answer. It has to be your answer that you already know in your gut. Um, okay. But the, uh, the, I just wanted something, again, give to get. I wanted something to hand someone and say, listen, this has been a decade of suffering. <laughs> you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's and, and, and suffering. Like, we're all suffering. I mean, like, right. like, just like we're talking about, like, some people, they're suffering through not having anything to eat. So for me, what the suffering I experienced was more in the business realm, more an in, in internal battle constantly with James the businessman versus James the the human that just wanted to be himself again and, and you know, so like just fighting those battles internally and, and externally, like working with people. So like I just wanted something to I wanted something to hand someone and say, Listen, this will save you all kinds of trouble. This will this this isn't what I read. This isn't what I have a theory. Of. This is what I live. This is this this is what I this is my actual experience and truth about what will work and how to go about it. Um, so that that was kind of like my main goal is just I wanted to give again give something back. Uh, late communicators that you got me involved in. You're like James. You ever heard of late communicators? I'm like no. She's like oh it's great. Come on, check it out. So like we had that one speaker come in. He's like. The best business card is a book. So again, I, for some reason, you know, I always, if something's in a, th looking through the business lens, if I'm looking through the business lens and there's some type of business aspect about it, I'm fascinated. Like business is like sports to me now. Like just like, I, okay. it's like my favorite game to play, if that makes sense. So yeah. um, he's like the best business card is a book. And I was like, well, hey, there's so many, rules and regulations and restrictions on in, in our industry as to what we can write about. And he's like, so don't write about it. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and like, he's like, what would you want to write about like that has nothing to do with what, so we talk a lot about too, is it's not what you do, it's who you are and why you exist. Like nobody cares about what you do then. I mean like it, eventually maybe when they need it, they care about your service or product, but like, um, so that really was, there was that and then uh, Kristen Kozar, I know she, she got married, um, so, but it's her maiden name, but yeah. she was like, hey, I got a friend that, um, you know, he does like blog the book. Because I was, I sat down to write the book, I'm like, crap. I'm like, I haven't written anything in like seven, eight years. Like, I haven't written <laughs> anything. So, um, yeah, just the, the, the process of it was really starting the blog, find your voice. So, like, even like anybody listening that wants to write a book, start a blog. And f I would force myself every Saturday morning, I would just write about, you know, it helps if you read it, like if you're reading, so if you read the library, go to the library, get a book and read it, and, and it helps you like inspire yourself to take one idea from something and write about it. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, like, it, I found my voice. I found out who I was through writing, if that makes sense. And it does. so like that's where, um, 
you get that blog, and then like so like right now Gary's working at Gary's actually working on publishing um, a, 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 a book of short stories. A collection. A collection. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not. <laughs> Quit downplaying. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. I can't. I don't yeah. Know, so, so, but but that's that was. It, so well, that's where because James inspired me from his blog and his book, and then I'm like, everybody wants to write a book, right? And I'm like, I have a great story to share. Um, just yes. because I know that there's a lot of life lessons through parenthood and mm -hmm. I was just having so many emotions inside of me when my daughter Quinn was born back in August and I was like I got you can't see me but I'm like shaking right now and I'm like I gotta I gotta share this experience with everybody mm -hmm. and like he's like just write about it so I did and then I started doing this blog and it now I'm going to turn it into, it's not a book, it's a collection of short stories. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where I was having like a, a big hold up for a long time. And then I said, James, help me out with this, man. I really want to finish this. And he's like, well, it's not a book. It's a gift, you know, from you as a father to your daughter. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, uh, stop writing it like, a, you know, just write it how you've been doing it and then put them all together. And I'm like, that's... Awesome, thank you. So yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel like that's where everybody has your book is your story, it's your mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. and that's and to me, everybody wants to write a book, but they don't feel that their life is interesting enough, or that you know, like. But end of the day, everybody's been through something, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like the whole like with Team IB, we got like the life, love, like everybody's their life has experienced something, something that other people will be drawn to. But and then the la like leg everything's legacy. Even like the community, like anything that I do or have will go away. But the whatever we leave back to the community will stay. You know that will actually matter. And I, you know like the so things that we did this year with the right. hashtag Go Lake County Golf Outing. We raised with your help. Yeah, the library. The library help. Help. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we raised almost seven thousand dollars, and we're helping to sustain and start three different programs in three different schools. That's amazing. Which is like incredible. Yeah. All in regards to, you know, manufacturing careers that are right here inside of Lake County. So we're trying to like make sure that people know that there's opportunities that are right in our own backyard, and we can get you connected with the right kind of people and the right kind of companies that would help put you on a great path. Okay. So like that's just like that's one of the many things that we want to leave behind as a legacy and like we'll be remembered hopefully uh, for doing something right. You know, and that's, that's really that's really what it is. <laughs> Cover up all their wrongs. I know. Uh, so but, to get so, back to the book, is yeah, there no no it's a okay. way off. No, no, I'm just, I'm curious because the, you know, the listeners who are interested in writing a book, mm -hmm. did you have an editor? I, so that's the thing is I'm very lucky that, so CP Vigilante, Zachary Fennell, he's published two books. So I had him read over it, you know, edit it, give me feedback. I had, so like I had, uh, and my buddy uh, Nick Samich, actually, he's an English teacher at Mayfield High School. He's the only guy I could not get a better grade on a paper than Nick <laughs> So like, I knew, you know, so he's... He's, he's like a grammar ninja, it's just very, like, so finding people that you trust, that you know, you know, like, will be genuine, give you the feedback you need, but you're not afraid to be, like, hand it off, and, like, okay. you want someone that knows you, mm -hmm. if that makes sense, that, but has a certain lens that they look through, that you need, you need to have multiple people, and I had, like, Zach Young um, looked over it, and that, and that was more from a, a branding, marketing, perspective and all that and I, so that's where have people you trust that are better at editing better at marketing better at whatever it is have them look over it and give you so that too will give you some feedback real feedback real too. feedback Challenge and, you, right? and to you, when it comes to like editing and publishing you know you got to be careful who, who you align you got to find the right fit for you right uh, so that's where there's all kinds of services. There's all kind of. Does does the library have people that would read over books and, and give feedback? Um, we don't typically do that. But you know, if somebody has a question about um, how to, where to start and how to publish a book and who to contact, our reference librarians mm -hmm. 
will help them with that and nice. steer them in the right direction. There you go. There you go. Um, but your book was not only published as a hard copy, but it was also published Kindle. as an ebook Correct. for Kindles. Correct. So, what was that process like, and, and how did you find a publisher? Who published yeah, it? Very good question. That's um. So there was there was there was people that I talked to about publishing, and there you got to be careful because if if you want, so like for me the book being an author was a dream. It wasn't like this is my my business. This is my this is gonna be my career kind of thing. So if someone if you want to be an author and that's like that's gonna be your thing that you do all the time, you know that's where I feel linking up with someone who can help promote you and publish because I didn't want to have to buy pay money have two thousand books sitting in my garage and be like well I'm just gonna give them away here and there you know like right. you know so um, but. I went so create space is what I ended up doing, and it's it's self publishing. But you can pay them to. So I had I paid with Amazon. Right? Yeah, it's owned by Amazon. <clears throat> so what's nice is the second you're published, a you're on Kindle, b you're on Amazon. So that and then the the number one thing is like again this was this was supposed to be something that I wanted to be give back, but also to like. Like something in writing that says, "Hey, my family has helped me. My friends have helped me." And it just like, but um, so it's more about to me just getting it out there. And okay. I will say the publishing process is actually harder than the writing process. So just write, just set ultimatums for yourself to get it done. But you have to set an ultimatum and a date for yourself to say, "I will publish by X." Like give yourself checkpoints, because otherwise it's just gonna get lost. Uh, but yeah, Create Space was was great for me because I was able, you know, they were able to help me here and there when I had time to work on it. Uh, but they did the cover. They did, you know, they they basically, you can pay them to do everything. Okay. If that makes sense. It's kind of a la carte. Yeah, it's, uh -huh. and, and you can say, hey, I want editors, I want this, I want that. But okay. um, you don't need that. So Create Space, you can go on, you know, basically upload your book. Okay. And you know, you publish it, and what's nice is so someone buys. You know, people have been buying my book on Amazon, and I don't have to mail it out. It's actually they make it on demand. So that's another thing too. If you're like, hey, you don't, I don't have. I don't have a lot of people think you need tons of money to publish. You don't need tons of money to publish, um, but you know you can what, look at what you can afford. But the, the, the content, right? You know, you, if your story is worth getting out there, then just get it out there, and however it is the best fit for you, um, but yeah, it, it just, it's, it's seamless, it's easy, and um, basically publishing through CreateSpace gets you on Amazon and just automatically you're on Kindle, you don't have to do anything extra. Okay. Um, I can't speak to other publishing things. Right. Um, but is there a cost involved? Yeah, yeah, so that's where, I should know this right, um, I think all in like paying paying people to look over my book and you know you can obviously negotiate with if, if I wanted to pay my friends to give back because they again it was something that I, I they've given me so much mm -hmm. to get this point so I wanted to be you know like they said don't pay me but I said shut up give you something because right. your time's worth a lot and uh, okay. so um, probably three grand Okay. Brand. So it wasn't anything crazy, uh, but at the end of the day, that's but that's the all-in expense. That's that's the all-in expense okay. for them doing the cover, doing the mark, like the little like. Why every so, time you made a change too, it was like, oh, I gotta resubmit it, and you yeah, know. it. Um, when you get, so they'll send you like your your like a proof, a proof. Of your book, which is really cool. Okay. But then that's the only time, like you have to. I think it's like seventy bucks or something to change. And if you don't catch anything, the first time around. First time around. Okay. You gotta change it. You can always and uh, you can always go back and update it and all that. But okay. I, I mean, for me, that's the hardest thing, is just get it written, get it published. But two, know what your end goal is. If if you if it's supposed to be something to give back and, and, and just share your story, that's cool. But if you're really trying to make a living about it, like you wanna you wanna mm -hmm. corral everyone you can. Yeah. Okay. How do I make this part of my living? And 
a great way to is like this this speaking. Like I love public speaking. I love the mode like it's pretty good at it. Right. Yes. No, I, like, every, I, I go into these like motivational rants, and I'm like, sorry, you didn't ask for that, but I, I don't know what came over me. But uh, you know, like when we did that Bliss event, right. like people haven't heard me speak yet, and they're like coming up buying books, and so like mm -hmm. when just having the book won't sell it. Right. But when you can't just people want to buy a book from someone that they feel they know that they, that has is worth the time to read it. it was like, well, worse is like reading a book and you're like that was terrible. Like, that was, right. Like, well, and they feel they felt connected to you after that event too. Correct. So correct. I mean that's it's real. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So that's where it just kind of um, you know, my my and it, I apologize because I'm like trying to remember. I published. I was trying to get it published before JJ was born. Okay. And I think I got it published when he was like a week old or something. Like the the Kindle came out before I believe. Yes, it did. And then so the Kindle will get published first, and then like the, the paperback you gotta. So how many yeah. um how many books did you print like on your first run? Um, well that's the thing is you don't have to print. Any. Oh, so they just yeah they yeah. make them on demand. So if oh. they wouldn't make one unless you. Oh, that's one. great. Yeah, it's amazing. Right. That's even better. Yeah. So that's literally so Amazon. <laughs> You know, like I said, right. they they do everything, and that's where I think I'm not. Trying. So they also sell your hard copies. Amazon will yep. sell a hard copy yep. or a digital copy. So you go to Amazon right now. You search. You search. It all starts with a plan. Book comes up. You can buy it, and it's eighteen dollars. And the reason why that's eighteen dollars because that's what I started with when I was in grandma's basement ten years ago. Okay. And for me, it's like I always, I wanted to be like, hey, if if you if, if I went back, and all I had was this eighteen dollars again, this is what I would want to know. Mm -hmm. This would be my, you know, my investment in myself to help me to educate myself on what's coming. Okay. <laughs> kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? So like, um, but no, it's I mean it's on demand. So literally now you can buy your books. So that's thing you know I, I you know the first time I bought book I think I bought like 250 of them or something. Okay. Like, like and there'll be like different like uh, price points that are, it gets cheaper if you okay. buy more. But I mean you that's buy a, the bulk. You know yeah. that's the thing is you're just. I'm, I'm there at any time you can buy your own book and you know ultimately if you're trying to make money um, I will say so Amazon takes I think like 50 60 percent okay if someone buys off Amazon or Kindle but you didn't have to do anything right you, ju you didn't do anything and you made money so okay, I'm right. saying like so that if you're again if you're trying to supplement your income or make it right. your life you know your life um, goal to be the, the author and that's all you do and that's what you do and you pay for it um, but that's not it's, it's super cheap to buy your own book and then go out and sell it right um, so I'm gonna ask you a, a more personal like financial type okay. question okay. have okay. you have you made back what you put into the book yeah so okay. that's where the um, what's cool is, there's, I mean there's people buying my book I'm like that is the last person I thought you know like, like people like <laughs> Would, would take a picture of it and be like, you know, this better be good, you know, kind of thing. I'm like, wow, you know, I, you know, so that's where it's, I, I have made, paid my money back, which is awesome. Okay. But again, like that, if it's been less than a year. Correct. It, it, but it's, you, you gotta be careful as, are you writing the book because it's important and it's, it, 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 if you don't make a penny, it's worth it. Right. Because, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, but also too, you gotta look at it from the standpoint of, now we've got a lot of people that have come to us and hey, I read your book, can we sit down and talk more about how we can work together? So it's, it's, it's created a lot of business opportunities for us. It's made us a lot of, it's turned into revenue, you know, indirectly from, the book will help make money and other, you know, for speaking engagements, right. for, uh, you know, whatever else is you're trying to do. Um, so does that, does that help? So does that yes, first look yes. Up? Yeah, Absolutely. so I said just if you you got to be very careful because you don't write a book for the money and you'll make money. Right. If you write a book for the money, you, it, I don't know. I, I mean, don't do anything for money. Right. Because it's you're you lost already. If if you if you start money first, mission second, you've already lost. Because even if you do make the money, mm -hmm. you're miserable. You're hollow. And like I said, like that. For me, again, I thought, and you know, we talked about the success box. I checked it, went to school, got the job, got the career, you know, got promoted, blah, blah, blah. You know, so like, again, 
and they have anything. And again, I thought business people were evil, and there I am becoming that. You know, business people are great; they're amazing. And but like, I got the money that I worked every day, all day. You know, like the, I remember right. I got promoted. My grandpa's, or my grandma was like, "Oh, how did we get so lucky?" It was like it was around the beginning of '09, so it was after '08, like everything was falling right. apart, kind of thing. I remember, like, that was, like, the best comment I ever got was from my grandpa. He's like, what are you talking about lucky? Like, he, he leaves here at 7 a.m. He doesn't get back until 10 p.m. every day. Sundays and, and Saturday. Like, every day I was working. Working. And not making hard anything. But, like, the money, it will never make you happy. It's never enough. So, again, it's never enough. But my number one thing for me is... If I get hit by, I leave here. I get hit by a bus, a lake tram bus. It would be okay. It's a lake tram bus. <laughs> we're not going to tell. We're not going to tell Julia or Carrie that you said that. Right. Every time, lake like, tram bus. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Lake tram. Uh, uh, my family will never have to wonder about did James love us? Did what? What was James? My son's never going to have to wonder what would Dad have done? What would Dad think about this? What would Dad? You know. So like, so for me. That that's the reason in itself. So like, before you and, and starting that blog helps you find your voice, but also find when you find out who you are through your writing. Mm -hmm. That's that's when you know you're ready to publish, and you know, that's when you know like, hey, this this is what it's all about. This is what I've been working towards, and here now it's time to go. Does okay. that make sense? Yes. So I'm sorry. That was no, no. That's... Very long winded. I just you know I. I I've had people that like, you know, like, oh, I published my book, I haven't made any money. I'm like, well, what do you do? You know, like, why should anyone buy your book? Or right. why should anybody give you speaking engagements? Like, what are you doing for that? What are you, what, right. what is the substance of it? You know, like, well, it's on, you know, it's really good stuff. I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> it could be the best like, book in the world. Yeah, the best right. book in the world. But again, if, if, if people don't, if it's not for the right reasons, it, everything will, End of the day, people see through it. So okay, I'm shutting up. I'm sorry. No, no, you're fine. So I have one. Rant and a half. All right, go ahead. Go. I have one last question for you guys, and okay. I'm going to ask every guest I have on mm -hmm. my podcast this question, um, because you are here at the library. So I want to know why do you love libraries? Why are they important to you? So, the libraries do a lot of different things. Um, you know, one of the if you read James's book, there are three C's. Remember, it's it all starts with a plan. You can search for it on Amazon. Shameless plug right there. Thanks. But um, the third C is continuing education. So that is a huge part of growth as a person, as a business owner. Um, and where can you get education, guys? For free. For free. Yeah. I hear In a about, book. Yeah. Maybe. In a, <laughs> <laughs> in a book, uh, in a library, in a book. In a library. Yeah. In a so, library, yeah. So if that's like something that we pride ourselves on, we're always constantly trying to be students of the game. Whenever uh, we're traveling, because we do a lot of traveling for for work, in the car, we're always doing audiobooks. So like we're both, hey, I'm not a strong reader, but we know that about yeah, ourselves. Yeah, and that's the thing is I suck at reading. I'm bad at reading, <laughs> but I wrote. You know, so like that's the thing. Don't ever like, well, I can't write a book or I can't. You know, there's nothing at the library that I can get involved in because I'm not good at reading. It's like, I which do, is super. We do, we do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, we do it every day. So, um, sorry. So yeah, no, no. So the stealth learning thing about it. So it's just whenever we're driving and traveling, we're listening to books. We're we're doing two things at once, mm -hmm. and so we're always constantly learning. The education piece is super important to us, but also the library does a lot more than that. They have all these different programs, oh like. Gosh, yeah. Uh, summer reading is a huge thing that you guys yep. are a part of. Uh, you, you just had the uh, the little library. Is that what it's called? We did little free library. Little free library, which is awesome. Check that out. Uh, my daughter just started, uh, and my wife went to the Willowick Story Time. Oh, great! Uh, last couple times, and I got some awesome videos of Quinn running around, just loving it, having the best time. So it's like they. They do so much for so many different people in so many different ways. So it, it's a no-brainer. Hey, we're trying to help the community. Guess who helps the community? The library. Yeah, and and so for me, like two things. One, 
the library is probably, and, and again, knowing you, so obviously, like, uh, and I'll get kind of more in my story how this, well, we all came to, to this moment, but um, to me, the library is about as selfless as you get. Yeah. It's like, hey, we're going to give you everything for free, and we're going to work our tails off for free, and we're going to work night and day for free so you can have every opportunity to have a better life. So just so, every, that in itself, okay, so forget our reasons, they, like, your mission is so important, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you all, thank you. library people out there, the Weeble people. Weeble people. Well, uh, and, like the, you know, we, we wouldn't be here without the community. We would have no purpose if it wasn't correct. for the need. Correct. You know, and if it wasn't for you guys who use our libraries mm -hmm. and, you know, all of the patrons that, that come in every day, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's to come to a program, whether it's to check out a book or a movie or attend a computer class or, right. you know, I and mean, we check, you can check out the internet. You can literally check out the internet now and take it home with you. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. You think, I mean, think about that. When like we were kids and we would go to the library, did you ever think that you would be able to check out a hotspot oh. and take the internet yeah. home with you? That's you should get the stamp though. It's, no, no. We're a little part. automated now. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite part, the stamp. So we're always overdue. So, so. Yeah. That's another reason why I probably so yeah, kind of so want to give back because there were so many overdue books from so me and my brothers back in the Overdrive, day. Overdrive, you is a app on your phone, so you can rent or check out ebooks, and then they return it for you because they <laughs> expire. So no more overdue fees. Yeah. That's right. No they more fixed overdue. it. It's <laughs> perfect. That's, that's awesome. That's, but uh, and then so yeah. So again, you we want to rally behind people that are doing the right thing, the right thing. Yeah. for the right reasons and that's it's it's a bonus when you have the right people which is which is you and your team and you know so like you make it fun you make it very fun but uh, the to us education is pretty much I said the continuing education is part of my keys to success and it's a book right. uh, it's on paper and when you say it it's like oh that's not very exciting but what what the result of it is that is what redefines your life. That's what changes everything is, is the, the, the knowledge that you get from that. Um, and I can't remember what book it was and who said the quote, so I apologize, but it's not my, my line, but it's, it's you know, the, there's only two things that change your life. It's the people we meet and the books we read. Um, and I don't even know if I said the line in order, but like the, the, the education is life changing. So Jason Chu, hey, I went to college with, um, I always did everything that I basically education to me was an excuse to run track. Okay. You know, just continue to run track, and then um, I remember knocking on my dorm room door and being like, "All right, Shalak, you gotta go study." And I was like, "What?" But, you know, it's kind of like that's uh, the, te the test is a week away, man. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? Right. And he's like, "He's like, no, we gotta prepare. We gotta educate ourselves." And so he, so he literally turned me into a. You know, I don't know if you want to like just like a dumb jock like to a like a, a lifelong learner like I was addicted to learning I was obsessed with getting better because he introduced me to like hey it's not about taking information and spitting it out and getting a passing grade it's about actually learning and becoming a better human being right. and so again Jason Chu hey Mr. Monday I owe you my life but um I got into Willby Rotary Club, and I met okay. Kathy Williams. Yes, and our previous director previous here director. at the Willby Sec Library. Amazing human being. She's such a sweetheart. She's so is. good. So awesome. And uh, I met her through the Rotary, and that was, was kind of like, again, you, you reach that, in, in business-wise, we had reached that turning point where we were actually in a position where we weren't working night and day, and we could actually have a little bit more time. Again, everybody's got to we were making excuses why we didn't have time to give back, but like we didn't have, I was always, again, I was looking through the wrong lens. I was saying like, the only way for me to give back is financially. So I was kind of like, all right, well, I'll see if I can give back to the library, mm -hmm. because in college, I used to lock myself into this tiny little, it was dedicated to a nun um, that used to be, you know, used to be in Northern College, and uh, if that, not for that room, because I would close the door, I would put, I would put in like, like earplugs, right? Like I just had to have zero distraction. So that, that library literally was like my safe place to learn. Okay. And then secondly, you know, I don't know if I'd be able to afford to, you know, to get through college because 
I went was Ohio Link, so yes. I would get my textbooks for free. You know, it was cool to be like mm-hmm. come in like this book's from Arizona, but I, I right. got it for you know. So like, to me, the library got me through college, and the library changed my life from the standpoint again of, of just being a resource of education of just things that there's no way that I could learn them on my own. Right. And um, but you know, we again the libraries and the schools. Uh, those are our main focus because with if you are not getting better then if you're not making progress you don't feel like you're getting smarter or you feel like there's street smarts and there's the book smarts mm-hmm. street smarts can only get you so far book smarts can only get you so far right but if, if you're you know the book smarts help you take action and inspire you to take action to fumble through life to get the street smarts if you don't already have. I mean, so like it's a so to me education is is it mm-hmm. and that's where the, the library is literally the central hub for you know schools need books they can go right. to the library if, if businesses need books they can go to anybody so um, yeah like it's, it's a selfless mission it's about as selfless as you get and there's there's I mean there's nothing more powerful you know like knowledge is power and blah 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 but like those sayings never die right. because they're the only thing that's true. And so like uh, so thank you. Um, thank yeah, you. I, I think uh, yeah, the li- library is where it's at. And anything, any excuse we can get to hang out with you. <laughs> well, I appreciate another, it. That's a whole other thing. That just I added appreciate bonus, it. So. It's reciprocal. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me in this first episode of yeah. WEPL Radio and for sponsoring our podcast. You can find out more about James, Gary, and the rest of their team at teamibb.com. So thank you so much, guys. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you. We love you, library. People, people.